To wash your ghee or not to wash your ghee? That's the question. Actually, there isn't a question. Always wash your ghee after you train, okay? There's never an excuse, you need to wash your ghee. <laughs> That's a must, one of those things you have to do. And I'm gonna show you how, to wa I I how I wash my ghee, and I'd like to know, you know, any tips or tricks that you use to wash yours. Um, first of all, you know, I use, sometimes I use baking soda, uh, vinegar, and of course I use this uh, free and gentle Tide. Now, that's what I used to wash. Now it depends on which ghee I'm washing. Uh, today I'm gonna wash my kawaii kimono, which is a little different from the, the standard ghee that you usually wear. This is a different kind of material. Um, it's cotton, but it's, uh, it's thinner. Um, you know, when, when I'm washing my ghee, I, 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 first of all, I do it right after I train. I mean, within an hour or two, if I can, uh, as soon as possible, right? Uh, the longer it sits, the longer it can, you know, those smells can soak in and it can start to get yellow from the sweat. Um, you know, so you want to try and wash it right, right away. Um, you know, I think, you know, sometimes let's say, um, well, let's, okay, so let's take my, my kawaii kimono. So if you guys don't know about this ghee, this is good ghee. It's hard, these are hard to find. Um, these kawaii kimonos, man, they're awesome. Real thin, great ghee. Um, but yeah, this is like, I can wash this in hot water. I've washed it in hot water several times and I've had, it, it doesn't really shrink. And I dry, I even dry it. I mean, I throw it in there with, you know, my, whatever it's called, my under gear or whatever, right? Everything that I trained in, I just throw it in there. Um, and I wash this on hot water, you know? So normal, put a couple of rinses on, hot, the thing, right? You get some soap, tie free and gentle, that's what I use. I got sensitive skin, man. I can't, can't use a bunch of dyes and stuff. Dry that out. Half a cup of that. Just drop that in there. Get that going. Rinse that cup out. And another thing, like speaking of cups, like you know, you guys, if you wear a cup when you train, like I stopped wearing them a few years ago. I don't really wear a cup that often. Um, but if you wear a cup, you want to wash the cup. A lot of guys just wash the, you know, the you know what it comes in, right? The little underwear or whatever. Um, but you need to wash the cup, and if you don't think you need to wash the cup, I want you to take a whiff of that cup after you train. Even a, the next day, take a whiff, okay? You tell me if you need to wash that cup or not. Now, you don't have to stick it in the washing machine, but that's what I used to do. I mean, you can wipe it out with bleach wipes or whatever, right? As long as it's clean, man. It starts to smell, man. It's nasty. Um, anyway, so I got the, the soap in here. Now I'm going to add uh, some vinegar, you know? So I'll drop, like, I don't know. Half a cup of vinegar in here in this little bleach slot. Let's fill that up. That's probably good. Vinegar's great for getting it white. You know, it's nice, acidic, um, helps keep it white. You know, I know when you first get a ghee, if it's, if it's got a lot of color, you know, you can, you can soak it in vinegar and that helps, you know, set the color a lot better. So I've heard. Um, I think it works that way with jeans too, right? So, but I, I use it to wash my clothes, you know, or if, if you have a stinky ghee, if maybe you, you got a standard ghee and you wash it in cold water because you don't want it to shrink anymore, you know, it starts to shrink. Maybe you don't get it washed quick enough. Man, dr try dropping, uh, this is a little hack I learned from uh, my buddy Ramon, half a cup of baking soda in there with it. I don't wash mine with baking soda. Now, the thing is, is this can uh, cause some it's a little abrasive, right? So it can cause your ghee to kind of, you know, over time, you know, it can cause some problems. But I don't use it all the time. If my ghee's a little stinky, I'll drop a little baking soda, half a cup in there, wash it uh, with that. It helps get rid of odors and stuff like that. But normally I'm just using some Tide Free and Clear and, you know, about a half a cup of vinegar. If it's my Kawaii Kimono, I'll wash it on hot. Um, if it's one of my standard ghees or a colored ghee, I definitely wash that on cold and I'll hang it to dry, right? Um, but yeah, this Kawaii Kimono, man, I drop it in the washer, boom, throw it in the dryer when I'm done and it's good to go. The thing doesn't shrink, it's great. So, but yeah, 
Look, I'd love to know. Oh, oh and another quick hack. My buddy, he's got uh, Drew, uses uh, OxyClean on his white geese, and man, they get super white. So I need to try that. I need to get some of that OxyClean and you know give that a shot. But I'd love to know what if there's any hacks or anything you use to wash your gi. Um Yeah, just you know, leave a comment. Let me know. I'd love to love to hear from you. You guys, if you like what you're seeing, hit like, hit subscribe. You know, follow us. Uh, it'd be great. Thank you.